Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2016 Lamborghini Centenario LP770-4 Now this has 1,126 horsepower, 721 pound-speed of torque from a twin turbocharged V12 engine and the car itself weighs 3,258 pounds still has all-wheel drive, can do 0 to 60 in 2.542 seconds and 0 to 104.422 seconds so yeah this car was hardly slow uh, when it was in its original stock form as it could do around 225 mile an hour which granted wouldn't put it into the uh, would make it the slowest car on this series if it was left stock but yeah it's going to need all that extra power just to get it at that extra 30, 40, maybe even 50 mile an hour faster than it could go standard so uh, yeah I have high expectations for this because obviously it's got plenty of power it's got the aerodynamics it's got good acceleration had a good enough top speed originally and uh, yeah doesn't exactly weigh all that much so uh, yeah let's get out there and see what it can do yet to have a Lamborghini in the top 10 though we do have the Lamborghini Rebenton in number 14th place which did 262 mile an hour, which is not too shabby at all. So hopefully this newer Lamborghini can do even better. It's probably one of the best handling cars we've had on this series. So easily one of the best looking cars I've had on the series and one of the best sounding as well. Even with the upgrades. That's two hundred. Past the original top speed, that's 230, 235, 240, 245, 250. Two sixty. We're gonna be the beat the rebent on? And yes we are. That's two six five six. keep that kind of speed around that corner was really good 267 mile an hour and I think we're all out of anything there because we're revving, hitting the rev limiter there but 267 mile an hour is pretty damn impressive especially for a modern car as uh, modern cars generally don't do very well on this series there's only well this now included there's only uh, three from post 2000 now well four now with this so uh yeah, this uh, beats the, Lam the Aston Martin DB4 GT Zarco Zagato by two mile an hour. Uh, the Nissan Silvia, the Porsche 911 Turbo S from 1993, Jaguar XJS, and the Lamborghini Rebenton. And it's only slightly behind the Ferrari F355, Cillian S7, and the Porsche 917 racing car. So uh, yeah, that's a uh, fairly decent. Like I said, not many modern cars have done very well on this series. Like I said, there's only three other post-2000 cars on this series, and only two that are newer than this. So, uh, yeah, it's still done fairly, fairly impressive, and uh, yeah, beat the uh, previous uh, fastest Lamborghini by five mile an hour, which again is fairly solid, especially considering that car was hardly slow in its own right. So, uh, yeah, solid car, and the fact it kept that uh, kind of speed, it was doing 266 mile an hour around that uh, little kink in the uh, straight there, without yeah losing any speed whatsoever so uh yeah it shows how good the car is in terms of handling even with the upgrades and uh yeah uh, easily one of the best cars we've had on this series even if it isn't the fastest anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye